Ferrari, festival director and founder, and today I'll be hosting this live stream. Along with me, special guest Stephen Nathan Erdijaya, an Indonesian director and producer, and this is Arbinger. It's going to be his first short film, shortlisted for Best Diversity Film. So welcome, Stephen. Hi. Hi, Jay. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm pretty good, thanks. Amazing. He is joining us from Indonesia, so that's a different time zone. I think it's 9 p.m. at your place, isn't it? Yes, it's 9 p.m. in Indonesia. Thank you so much for joining us. So, uh, first and foremost, let's watch a trailer together and then we'll be talking about Harbinger, a story about human rights and about a genocide that happened in Indonesia uh, in between 1965 and It is important to say that this movie, among the others, definitely showed uh, an important matter that we are keen to discuss with Stephen. And better than me, he can tell you what is Arbinger about and what is important about Indian Asian history that we don't know. Hi, um, good afternoon and good night from Bali and good afternoon everyone from UK. And I want to tell you something about the background for choosing this um, tragedy, um, what is your film about, and anything else. Yes. Um, I choose this guest of tragedy because this historic tragedy can be seen from the conflict between two groups and the spread of the epidemic that exists in Bali in 1965 and 1966. The Food will take more innocent victims that can lead them to destruction, ex destruction at that time, which is where the purpose of this film uh, to capture voice and explain the nuance of being marginalized due to the edge of the dominant stage that occurs and will clearly tell the historical witnesses who keep their story disappeared. And Maybe I want to tell you, tell you about, um, about the message um, I want to convey in the film. I want to convey the message that when we know, when we knew the truth, silence does not mean being silenced or caring, but wise in making decision, not being stupid and preparing something to defend against tragedy. Um, can it be? films, books, and various other media. And what the film about, um, it's about a street sweeper, the messenger of the red blood letter to the soldier found out it was abuse or responsible for the extermination uh, of neutralists during the Gestapo era in Bali. Okay, that's all from me. And they, if, um, do you have any question? Yes, of course. I was just uh, letting you speak. So, in terms of the choices of the making, this is your first. Mm -hmm. So, yes, what, what was the choice behind making this film right now? Uh, I, I believe it was shot during the pandemic, wasn't it? Um, what um, can you was this, uh, repeat the? Yes, was this film during the pandemic? Yes, this is film I shot um, one year ago when the Indonesia has been uh, under pandemic and it's so overwhelming, it's so um, up and up, COVID-19 is everywhere in Bali. Okay, and was the choice of making the film silent there since the beginning or did you choose it later on? 
in the beginning, from before the development, before the idea, I want to make uh, because, in my opinion, uh, gestures more speak than verbal, more speak the information than ver verbal. Mm -hmm. That's what I think before the development. And you you said in your director's statement that this was in a way. You like the idea of metaphor or metaphorical language by symbolism, gestures. So, yes. did you have any the other films that inspired you to choose this pattern for your own film? Oh, the reference um, for the Salon film, maybe it's like a Tim Ki Duk film, if you know, from the Korean film. Um, one of the films that I like is um, Spring, Summer, Fall, Winter, and Spring. <laughs> and if you ask about um, the reference in the film, um, can I tell the reference of the film? Absolutely, yes, yes. Ah, okay. Uh, for the reference, um, the mood of the film is taken from the movie called Legong Dance of the Virgin. It's about Bali in 1920, I think. And for others such as camera, artistic, editing, and sound treatment, they are taken from several films like Sang Penari, City, Kim Kido film, Uba Dreams, and others. Okay. Yes. That's amazing. So, did you share this um, with your writer? Because I know you are the producer and director of yes. our but um, Free is the actual scriptwriter. So, did you share with her this, this idea uh, since the beginning, these references, or yes. she had already wrote in the, the script and then you, you proposed these references? No, um, I give give her an idea. Um, maybe I can tell about the process, the development, maybe. Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay. For the idea, I want to tell for the idea. The inspiration for the story is from a book in Bali. Their um, book, Igus di bawah samar gantang. The book tells a little about the sweeper in guest area and the script writer and I decided to develop the story into something potential, more um, on point for that sweeper maybe. How we develop it? With research by reading books, watching film like I said the reference before, the subjective research such as, such as asking people who live and experience when it happened in 1965. Um, which is my grandmother. That's all. Well, and did she tell you about what happened in, in Bali at the time? Did she experience it, uh, or she had to escape from Indonesia? Um, my, my grandmother, you said. Yes, your grandmother. Oh, my grandmother. It is just like um, in not um, into the tragedy, but but she like hide in that tragedy. Uh, many of um, like my grandmother nephew has been killed in a jungle and my uh, grandfather um, father my grandfather father, mm -hmm. <laughs> father died, died in front in his eyes like, like in the door he shot my father grandfather and died and that time oh. that's terrible so, um, in terms of so this was an, another um, yes. in reason you wanted to make this film so much because it kind of spoke to your own familiar tragedies as well and you felt it was in a way your way to make film both um, a personal choice but uh, a political and cultural choice as well. Um, can you repeat the question? Yes, I, I meant did you decide to make this film uh, not only for personal reason, like familiar, um, you know, um, family accidents, but also the actual um, decision to make the film a political statement for your own country? Yes. Yes, it's and for my. What? Was this like? Uh, did you um, present it to the governor in Bali? Did you decide to share the film? With yes, I, yes, yes, I already I already shared and um, before the q and A in um, 15 February, I think there are a 
film festival called Badung Independent Art and Film Festival that um, that screen all the film in Bali and what one of the film is my film. Amazing. Yes. So what's the, tell, tell us a day on set. Um, was this difficult to shoot? How long did it take? Tell us a little bit about the process. Mm, about the shooting? Yes. Because this is... Um, maybe I can tell uh, what to de- how to deal with COVID-19 during the shooting process because um, in the shooting area it's a, a tourism area it's a lot of people but sorry but in that day um, pandemi is going up and nobody cannot go out Yes. But, but the leader in the vocation give us permission, and that's how I grateful to them. Like, so say thank you. <laughs> and how to deal the COVID nineteen? It's like by carrying out the protocol, like using mask, making or having been vaccinated, vaccinated. And its core team has bought hand sanitizer to give to other to their um, subordinate under under their job desk. And the uh, yes. exciting, eh, the eh, during the process, I think I want to tell about the exciting about the process of the shooting. The mm-hmm. excitement is um, when everyone in the area my crew is when job that came out of its crew during shooting we said that we were accompanied by a dog no no not a dog many dogs around there and the owner of the house we made shooting was quite friendly because he gave us tea and coffee um, the shooting schedule was finished on time there to the shooting and that's all that made the shooting process so exciting Amazing. So this was the first one. Do you have any other projects yeah. in mind? Uh, what? In mind? Do you have any other projects in mind or are you working on something new at the moment? Uh, I'm working with um, one of the uh, one film, one idea film that shooting uh, next year. It's called Subaltern, if you know. Subaltern is like um, post-colonial things and the genre and the genre is uh, omnibus film that uh, short film mm-hmm. that uh, short film short story but in one film many many short idea many many short uh, story in one film okay that's interesting so do you expect it to be a feature or a series uh, feature or short <laughs> okay mm-hmm. sure so it should be like very little Builds of stories, like one minute, two yes. minutes. Yes, like that. And are they all like um, connected to human rights or diversity-driven stories, or what would be the main topic of these stories? I think we had a connection issue, so don't worry, it happens all the time. Uh, it's a uh, problem with live streams. But in the meantime, we wait for Stephen to come back. I uh, just want to share with you the um, last updates before we actually start the live stream days uh, of from the 14th to the 17th. So this film, Harbinger, is shortlisted for Best Diversity Film and you will be able to vote for it as Best Film, the audience award if you like, joining from the, um, from the Facebook group London Film Events and look for the poll that will be posted on the 14th at midnight and removed at 6 p.m. on the 17th, right before the beginning of the festival. This is today and tomorrow are practically the last days to submit to the um, festival. So if you want to give us um, our last chance to change our minds about the winners, that's the time to submit. Um, in terms of the actual festival award ceremony, it will happen on the 17th of March at 7 p.m. at the World Cinema. Tickets are still available, so please do join and uh, enter to uh, Eventbrite. 
can also go through the World Cinema website, so please do plug in. In the meantime, that uh, if we don't get Steven back, I wish him the best with Harbinger, and I is, I'm sure that it will have lots of low girls in its future submissions to film festivals. In the meantime, we do say goodbye to all the Indonesian people who are following us, and we do say thank you again to the crew that made Harbinger possible. Thank you so much for joining our live stream today and best of luck for the future. We'll see you at the World Cinema and looking forward for the Q&A session from the 14th to the 16th of March live stream here on Facebook. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.